Breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. What we found in the House of Terrorist Negotiator to Komamu DSS reviews. What we found in the House of Terrorist Negotiator to Komamu DSS reviews. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. The Department of State Services, DSS says, it recovered incriminating materials, including military accountment, large amounts of different currencies and denominations in the houses of bandit negotiator Tsukomamu. The spokesman of DSS, Peter Lafunaya, disclosed this in reactions to inquiry about a raid carried out in the Kaduna House and Office of Mamu in the hours of Thursday. The DSS said many things recovered were so incriminating, saying the arrested publisher would be charged to court. So far, appropriate security agencies have executed valid search warrants on Mamu's residence and office. During the processes, incriminating materials including military accoutrement were recovered. All items include large amounts in different currencies and denominations as well as financial transaction instruments. While further investigations continue, Mamu will show up the day in court, Afunaya said. So far, appropriate security agencies have executed valid search warrant on Mamu's residence and office. During the processes, Incriminating materials, including military accoutrement, were recovered. Other items include large amounts in different currencies and denominations, as well as financial transaction instruments. While further investigations continue, Mamu will show how the day in court he retreated. Meanwhile, the secret police has beefed up security around its facility in its Abuja headquarters. One of our correspondents who visited the area at about 9.30 a.m. on Thursday observed the presence of unusual number of marked personnel of the service. A source at the headquarters of the secret police told Daily Trust that the deployment might not be unconnected with presence of Mamu at the facility. Security sources said Mamu was arrested for his alleged involvement in collecting ransom and taking same to terrorists in exchange for kidnapped victims. It had been reported how Mamu was arrested at Malam Amino Kano International Airport in Kano on Wednesday afternoon. The Kaduna based published who was first arrested in Egypt was detained for 24 hours before he was before he was flown back to Nigeria. It was observed that while the Egypt aircraft which conveyed him and his family members touched down in Kano around 1.55 p.m., he was immediately picked up. DSS operatives were stationed at the entrance of the international wing 
of the year for several minutes before the aircraft landed. Heavily armed operatives, who were also in company of others dressed in mufti, were on guard at the entrance of the Lyreval section of the international wing. Of the airport were three vehicles, two ELOX and one EEs with canon number plates parked by the entrance. As passengers began to file out from the arrival section, one of the e locks moved forward while the luggage, presumably of Mamu and his family members, were loaded in one of the vehicles while the one which parked Mamu zoomed off. The Department of State Services, DSSA. It recovered incriminating materials, including military accoutrement, large amounts of different currencies and denominations in the houses of bandit negotiator Tukomamu. The spokesman of DSS, Peter Lafunaya, disclosed these in reactions to inquiry about a raid carried out in the Kaduna house and office of Mamu in the hours of Thursday. The DSS said many things recovered were so incriminating, saying the arrested publisher will be charged to court. So far, appropriate security agencies have executed valid search warrants on Mamu's residence and office. During the processes, incriminating materials including military accoutrement were recovered. Other items include large amounts in different currencies and denominations as well as financial transaction instruments. While further investigations continue, Mamu will sure have a day in court, Afunaya said. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know what your view is all about.